from 1977, Carl and I had a meeting in the McNeil room. And uh, towards the end of the, the meeting, I had an idea. I had just this past, that past weekend, had watched a, uh, a college basketball game, which I'm assuming was Syracuse, it probably was, where the majority of the uh, students who came to the game were all wearing orange. I remember that. And I said to Carl, wouldn't it be kind of a really good thing for spirit if we had a game where, you know, if we had all the students and whoever it comes to the game wore red shirts. So he picked up on that and he said, well, we could, you know, we could make it a little bigger than that. The name kind of came to me. I don't know why, but I guess Preco was a word that kind of resonated, kind of would make it fun. And I, uh, I guess I had the audacity to call it the first annual uh, Big Red Preco. Uh, hoping that uh, it, it would continue, it wouldn't be a one-year event, but that it would continue uh, beyond that. Then we did promote it in advance to uh, to get people to, to to buy into it. Going to hockey game was like the best thing to do on campus, so we didn't have to convince you know people to go to something they didn't want to do. I guess Carl must have found the money that we had printed up these cardboard engineer hats that kind of wrapped around your head, so a lot of people were wearing that, and then we went through a bunch of years where uh, we gave out something as people came in, whether they were little cowbells or just different things. It was a sellout, which, you know, wasn't uh, happened at every game, so that was, that was kind of neat, uh, and uh, it was very loud. It, it seemed like everyone was wearing red, which was great, so there was a lot of spirit in the group. People had brought in car batteries, hooked up to horns. There was a lot of excitement. It was, it was a lot of fun. The excitement that the fans brought to the field house uh, definitely affected the, uh, the play on the ice. At least the first 10 or 15 years that I kind of followed, we had a very strong winning record for FICO games. So, so that was a, a positive. Uh, yeah, the noise did get out of hand, it seemed. That, that kind of amped up over the first few years and the NCAA, NCAA did take notice of that and uh, at some point outlawed certain noisemakers and things and to keep the, uh, the noise level you know, more manageable. Uh, I know that after just the first couple of years, I heard anecdotally from, uh, from the athletic director and things that uh, other schools did not want to be scheduled with our opponents on freak out nights. I was certainly hopeful that we were beginning a new position so to think that something would last, you know, 10, 10 or 15 years would be considered a long time. After the first 10 years, I started thinking, well, maybe this, maybe this will be something that can last a long time.